And then in that, I get a glimpse of the eternity. I get a glimpse of the continuum of the presence of the infinite. Because, check it out, you all have got a glimpse of the infinite. All, all of us, of the infinity. At one point, each and every one of us had got glimpses of the infinite, of complete being, of the presence. That presence that doesn't have a beginning and it doesn't have an end. It's perfect. Perfect, perfectly pure presence. You can call it God. It's a word, whatever you resonate with, of eternity. And you can examine this by a shift from the thinking mind, and moving into the being, to the heart, that there is no questions, without any questions. And you've touch that place through your meditation. You've touched that when you're utterly quiet, in pure presence. And then you experience this expansion, complete expansion. And you touch this greater part of yourself. And you get a glimpse of, wow, there is something much bigger than me. And that is the essence of shamanic, shamanism. That is the essence. I'm talking about essence. The essence of your shamanic part the shaman. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, they talk about shamanic work, the shaman. First of all, the shaman, what is a shaman? The shaman is the one who has access to the both worlds, the physical world, an invisible world. You can switch and go to the cosmic realms and you through this body you have connection to the physical world. The physical world that we're connected to is a world of limitations. For example, limitations like my sight after doing three yoga classes, and I was telling you, is I pulled a muscle. That's a limitation. It brought me back into the world of the physical, that I have a body and the body gets hurt. And then you have the needs, you get hungry and you have to eat food. And when you're really super hungry, all you're thinking about is getting some food. You don't care about anything else whatever, what's the nature of existence? I mean, you don't give a hoot about it in that moment. All you're thinking about is I want some food. And later on, I'm gonna sit down and figure out why, what is the nature of existence or myself. But right now I want some food. So you come back to your limitation of the body. Or, you know, if you're lonely, you're alone, you're lonely, it's Thanksgiving, it's Christmas, you're not with any family or friends, and you're really craving company. You want to have a friend, you want to have a lover, you want to hold someone, you want to be helped. You want someone to hold you and tells you, tell you that I love you. 
And there's nothing wrong with that. You're not made out of iron, you're not a robot. So these are our limitations. But then the, the shaman opens up. You can call it the third eye. Our third eye opens up to cosmic understanding, cosmic intelligence. Or you can say the shaman has learned through certain type of rituals, whether it's shamanic dances or shamanic uh, walks in the nature or taking medicine or there's different different types of shamanic work okay and you opening up to the cosmic realm and that cosmic realm of opening up to it is you start to connect with the other worlds with the infinite with the expansion and for the spiritual seeker such as you the sincere spiritual seeker that you're sincerely looking for the world beyond you're looking for expansion you're looking like what you ask me which is a great question you ask me that you like to know what's god's plan for you is really cosmic connection you want to connect what do you want to connect with you want to have access access to what Because, you know, some of you maybe are winners in the money world. You already made a lot of money or you inherited money or whatever. So, okay, you won, you became successful in that world. And it says, okay, I, I made a lot of money. Okay, now what? Some of you became a winner. You found your love, your partner in life. and okay you have your partner or you had your partner and then you went through the whole thing and you have your children or grandchildren and you accomplished that part too and you fulfilled a lot of your physical desires in this world and you won you got it okay but now it's like but i still don't feel connected 100 percent because i know there is something more and you have the right to think and feel this way because of course there is more. There's a lot more. And then you get pulled into this way. Now we can say you have been pulled into the mysticism, the mystic, the mysticism, mystical part of your spirituality or your religious practice okay you grew up maybe religious but then the religion part was not answering your question so you came into mysticism you know Christ through christianity into mysticism through islamic practice you went to sufism sufism is the mystic mystic part of the islamic branch or the christian mysticism or the and you you grew up jewish now you're attracted to kabbalah that's the myst, mysticism mysticism of the judaism or you're in buddhism or you can call it like native americans or aboriginals or the tribal people going into the shamanic part it's the same thing. The shaman is a mystic. So you are pulled into your modern shaman. Shamanic rituals that you're bringing into your life. 